these balloons would have been launched from Holloman Air Force Base. Um, they 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 launched balloons from there as well, so it made it kind of, you know, if it, it it's close to Roswell, it is one of those. So um, whether or not whichever side of the fence that you stand on, uh, you could kind of see it uh, that kind of linking up together there. Yeah, like so we know Project Mogul was a real thing. It's just was Roswell Project Mogul, right? That's or did they that's, did that's, they that's, just like we have Project Mogul and we're going to use that to cover the uh, cover the ET, ET uh, crash or the time traveling Russian children theory, yeah, whatever that right, was. Nuclear radiated children, sm small, sm people small people <laughs> crashed in these experimental crafts. Right. Um, so yeah, it, it, if this was a, a lot of, like I said before, a lot of people pointed to this case as being a good example as a, a time when the government was to put out soft disclosure. Now, my question is, would have this have been a good idea? Like, would this have been effective? Like, it, would this have been soft disclosure? Is this the first attempt at soft disclosure? Or are there others that have been made before? I mean, what do you guys think? Well, soft disclosure, if that video of the descending craft, that few seconds we've seen is a real thing, I mean, it would be a good first step. Like we have this crazy video. It looks like a space, some type of spacecraft descending from the atmosphere. We can't really tell what it is, but that would be a good first step to get people just thinking about it. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, and if they if they release, think about, about it. it. Like if they released this this documentary, this legitimate documentary with the support, you know, mm -hmm. they put a big stamp on it that says with the co with the cooperation of the Department of Defense, and they say we have actual footage of an extraterrestrial craft and extraterrestrial beings, you know. Uh, meeting with military officials and this documentary just came out no prelude no nothing this documentary just drops like what is what are the reactions do you think would would have happened that where would we be at i don't think a lot of ticket sales yeah i don't think a lot of people would be surprised right now to box be office hit um it would be an interesting thing to bring up at one of these like in the upcoming congressional ufo hearings uap hearings is like can we see this footage? Is this footage exist? What happened here? Why? Like, what happened with this documentary? They said they were in contact. Do we still have this footage? Did it exist? Those would be questions I'd be interested in asking. But part of me, part of me, when I look at this and I think about it, seeing that them work with it, I do worry. Part of me worries. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that this, this isn't the case. We've seen a bit of the footage. You know, in not, there's enough, like, oddities to this where I'm like, you know, Quite possibly, quite possibly, they had something here that just got pulled by the military. They're like, we want nothing to do with this. But I do worry that potentially that uh, Emmenegger, you know, Shardle and um, Sandler were just used as useful idiots in a <laughs> agent of misinformation, right? Like they were feeding them wrong information, basically to get them off the tracks, Right of of what's really going on, or what or what or events that have really happened, um, to make it seem like maybe like this was one of the first tests where the government's like, "Okay, hey, we got to give them some information, then pull it away." So then we'd be like, "This is categorically false, didn't happen." So you can paint the negative picture of like to the public of like crazy. No one was ever working with these guys. It, it's hard for me because I I I do. I do believe 100% unequivocally that UFOs have, one, visited, uh, are around, um, have been in contact, that the, and governments know more than they're letting on. I believe that. But I also believe governments have been involved in providing as much misinformation as possible because, one, they don't want other foreign countries to know that they're in contact or have gotten technologies from these, you know, races the alien races so it, it's a it's a difficult position for me to balance of like you know where does the truth lie on this one where's the kernel of truth i mean you're gonna have to ask jackie gleason yeah <laughs> uh right because well on that note i mean because in 54 eisenhower was on the we talked about it, i think back it was case file i wrote it down here case file 
way back on 105 we talked about eisenhower and the aliens and he was on vacation in like palm springs and there's missing presidential uh logs of this of this one day yeah which is not this is not far from holloman uh the official story is oh it wasn't recorded because it was a dental emergency but the ufo researchers have deduced that perhaps he actually met either the aliens or met someone who had met the aliens and discussed that there we are not alone in the universe and then a dozen years later after it's gone through all these cycles of people uh looking into it they're like okay well we're not going to be able to keep people in the dark forever so let's give them a little snippet in this documentary like a hypothetical documentary of what if aliens landed on earth so in that well, case, I mean, because it's been around with Roswell 47, Eisenhower meets the aliens in 54, and what are we in 74 when this documentary releases? Mm -hmm. So like a slow, like a slow drip. Yeah. The other, the other interesting thing, Zell, and you brought it up is like the, the, so the story goes is that these aliens came to America and they were talking to Americans about tracking another advanced civilizations, right? Some sort of space faring race that had come to earth right so if they're telling this to the americans what if this other race that they landed in russia right mm. and we're talking with the russians because then there would be conversations of like hey you know it's the height of the cold war they're like where did they land right like yeah, what if the other aliens are talking about are the ones that <laughs> yeah, landed in 54 it feels kind of funny to be like it's like well the aliens can't find him so the last guys like well if aliens with advanced technology lost them what chance do we have of finding them yeah but maybe but maybe I mean, if they're, they make contact right? but maybe they're making contact thinking that we're like a global race right and then we're like we're not we're not we're not all we're it's not unity we have like you know tr we have tribes Right, where like we don't we don't get along with the ones on the other side of the world. So if they landed there, it could be an issue, right? Because if they're giving them Absolutely. technology, Red like sun. right, and so it's like they're like, okay, yeah, these these beings aren't ready for you know the intergalactic federation, whatever. We're just gonna peace, like, all right, thanks for your help, see you later. But like, if if then the United States officials were like, hey, Russia, you have any visitors? So like, what do you mean visitors? Like, what do you mean, visitors? The aliens are standing like, behind them, mean? like behind him on the hotline. Like, ask him, ask him if he's seen anybody with like, with like yeah, purple yeah, skin. Exactly. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> have you, have you, Russia, you guys seen any people yeah. with like purple skin? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Boss. Why, have you? <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Because like tensions have been so high. And then the other like, aliens are behind the Russians. Like, no, 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 no. Don't tell them we're no, here. You, we're not you here. Turn you have it. Turn on the lights and pretend not to be home. Turn off. Place. Hang up, hang up. <laughs> Tommy can launch the nukes if they call again. <laughs> right? It's just uh to me, I'm like, it's it that's part of me. It's like cause like man, this this time you're like, we're not communicating. Like information does not travel through all humanity, especially in nineteen seventies. Like there's if depending where the and Russia's again the largest landmass. So it's like if you had to guess, like if UFOs are coming down, statistically speaking, the odds of them coming in Russia are greater than anywhere else, any other country. You know what I mean? So it's like, again, the West and Russia, especially in this time, doesn't get along. So it's like, we are not going to share that information. So then if others come, land in the States, it could make like, sense to me, though, that it links like they would try to travel to the same spot the other UFOs did if they were looking for them. And that's why it goes with the 54 eisenhower because they know like they're saying that they've already had this meeting mm -hmm. so we're coming here because we're tracking these people these this species oh, okay yeah, i see know they've been there yeah you know what i mean so they're like they're like they're 20 years after but in their in their time frame of travel Space they're like travel. they're like they're like a couple minutes behind right or maybe an hour behind but for us it's like a 20 year because of time dilation or whatever right they land they're like hey what'd you have and they're like oh, fuck we met with them we we signed treaties they're like oh you signed treaties <laughs> <No>. <laughs> terrible idea right like where, what did they say uh that that's a good that's an interesting point i never even thought about that that they're if they're hot on the heels even hot on the heels if you're looking at light speed you know at would essentially be years could be years could be decades on like a planet for us right interesting yeah. thought it's, it's, it is. <laughs> do they have to cooperate with our forces because they have to like extradite them or something they have to ask our permission to like <laughs> take prisoners from 
or play. Buddy, maybe this is Dog the Bounty Hunter, right? Dog the Bounty Hunter style, right? They're like, they're hot on the trail. Oh, these fucking aliens are smoking ice. Space ice. Yeah, space ice. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.